Did you know that if you duplicate an action plan and follow a boss and then edit the emails in that new plan you created, you're actually destroying and editing the original action plan or action plans it was duplicated from? I know that just sounded like a really weird riddle, but I wanted to walk you through exactly how to create a new action plan and use one as a foundation for another without breaking the other action plans you have. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and dive right in. So let's pretend that you have a new buyer lead action plan you use. And let's pretend you say, well, I'm now doing a buyer seminar. So I'll just take the new buyer lead action plan and use it as a foundation for my buyer lead seminar action plan. So I'll go ahead and duplicate the action plan. I'll zoom in here by clicking this button. And once you click duplicate, it's going to change the name to say new buyer lead number two. So what a lot of people don't know, and a common mistake people make is you might say, oh, I duplicated it. Now I can go in, rename the action plan like new buyer seminar, and open up the first email and change what it says. But pause, stop, time out, do not do that. Because if you look, in this email editor here, it says used in two other action plans. So this means if I edit this email, it's going to edit the email in these two other pack action plans I'm using. So although in Follow Boss you can duplicate an action plan, it's also going to edit the original templates that were used in the previous action plan. So duplicating an action plan does not, as a result, create a whole new set of email templates that don't affect your other action plan that it was used in. The only thing that is not affected by the other action plan is the text message. Otherwise, Follow Up Boss uses the same email templates you were already using. So if I change this to say, thanks for registering for my home buyer seminar, I'm curious, like what prompted your interest to register? Then it's going to edit that for your general new buyer lead, online buyer lead action plan. So you might be wondering, okay, well, what do I do? So let's save this action plan so I can use it later. What you actually need to do is create the email templates first. So if I go to admin email templates, let's pull up that first email I wanted to adjust. So new buyer lead number one, one second. Here, I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to name it new buyer seminar. Hi, name. I just received your registration for the upcoming home buyer seminar. And if needed, like here is access um, to the invite. I avoid using the word link because that's a spam trigger word. Um, just a side note, what prompted you or what is prompting your interest in this seminar? And then save. Then what you do is you go to that seminar. Did I not save it? Okay, I didn't save it. Okay, <laughs> you'll, you'll um, duplicate that action plan. I thought I did. Oops, keyboard shortcuts. Duplicate the action plan, change it to new Byerly seminar, edit this email and edit the email it's actually using and change it to use the new one you just created. And that's how you do it. Oh, and you also wanna make sure you click save with everyone or share with everyone else. So to go back really quick, I missed a step. When you create the email template, Okay, it just might be taking a little bit to load. You wanna make sure you check this box so that other people within the company see what the email says. So that's that's what you need to do. Although you can duplicate an action plan, you do need to edit the action plan by creating the email templates separately and then plugging them into that action plan rather than just editing the email templates that are there.